alright. First thing to do is go to ilovepdf.com. You will be presented here with all of the features that the tool can do. You can merge, split, or compress a PDF. You can convert it to any MS Office format, to a JPEG file or an HTML file, and vice versa. You can edit a PDF, you can fill and sign, add watermark, rotate, unlock or protect the PDF. You can organize, convert to ISO standard PDF, repair, add page number, convert a scanned picture from your phone as a PDF, and convert a picture PDF into a text PDF. And every single one of these functionalities, you can perform absolutely free. You don't even need to sign up. You can do all of these without requiring you to sign in. I Love PDF also has a phone app and a desktop app that you can access from the menu. You can download it from Google Play Store or Apple App Store. For the desktop app, you can get it from Mac OS or Windows 32 or 64-bit OS. I Love PDF was founded back in 2010 in Barcelona, Spain. Below this page, you can see the pictures and names of all the people involved in this company, including the founder, Marco Grassi, the software engineer, marketing, project manager, and all of the other important people of the company. Seems fun to work here. Okay. There are a lot of functionalities offered here, so I cannot try all of them, but I'll demo about 10 of them. Let's do the first one, the merge PDF files. First thing to do is select the first PDF file that we want to merge. Let's open the PDF file so you'll know what the content is. It has three pages, as you can see. And the second file that we're going to merge is this one. Let's open it. It also has three pages. These are the two PDF files that we're going to merge, Card Magic and David Blaine Levitation. Okay. Let's select the first file here. Now let's add the other one, the Card Magic PDF file. And you can merge more PDF files here. It is not limited to two. You can merge as many PDF files you want into one. For this sample, let's just merge two. Let's click Merge PDF. Now we can download the merge file. When we open this. As you can see, it is now six pages. We've successfully merged two PDF files. Now let's try the split PDF function. Let me show you the PDF that we are going to split first. Let's try this one. David Blaine's secret revealed. This contains 23 pages. The PDF might be too long and you want to get, for example, the first 10 pages only. You can use split PDF for that. Same procedure, let's select the PDF file first. You can split by range or by selecting the pages. For range, you can set the range of pages you want to remain in the PDF file. Let's say pages 1 to 10 only. Then let's click split PDF. Then we can download the splitted PDF file. Let's open it. There we go. The PDF is now just 10 pages. Okay. If splitting the PDF file still gives you a large file size, we can then do the compress PDF function. From my PDF files, I have one here with 128 kilobyte size. Let's try compressing that. Compressing a PDF will not change the PDF at all, it will just reduce the file size of the PDF file. Same procedure. Select the PDF file. We will compress this 128 kilobyte PDF file. You have three options of compression here. Extreme will have less quality, but a big reduction to the file size. Less is the opposite, good quality but less compression, and the recommended which is balanced between quality and compression. Let's choose the middle one for this. Then click the compress PDF. Now let's download. Let's open the folder to check out the file size. There you go. From 128 kilobytes, it is now just 112 kilobytes. That's 12.5% reduced. Not bad. I'm sure it will have more impact if your PDF has much larger file size than this. Next are the conversion of PDF to other format. PDF to Word is already common, so let's try PDF to PowerPoint. Let's select a file to convert. Let's open it first so we can see what we are going to convert. OK. This is a rope magic with three pages. Let's select that. Click PDF to PowerPoint. Now let's download the PowerPoint file and open it. There you go. An exact conversion of the PDF file into a PowerPoint format. Just inserting each page as a picture on a slide. Next, I'm curious about this PDF to Excel. Let's select the same file. OK. We have two options here for no OCR, which will just get the text and picture from the PDF, and the OCR feature which will convert even picture elements from the PDF into an editable text to Excel. Unfortunately, the OCR is only available for premium subscriber. So let's select no OCR, then click convert to Excel. Let's download the Excel file. And open it. Here we go. Well, it does not look good, but it actually got all the text elements into a cell, even the font face and font color, which is yellow and white. That's why we can't see the text because they are on a white color font. Then it extracted the picture elements as well, and just put it in the cells. Good enough, I guess. Let's try one more conversion function. Let's go with PDF to JPEG. Same procedure of selecting the PDF file. 
you'll have an option here to convert each page as one JPEG file, or just extract the picture elements from the PDF file. Then you can choose the image quality. Let's go with page to PDF option with high quality. Then click convert to JPEG. Let's download. It create a zip file. Let's open that. There we go. Since we have three pages in the PDF file, we also got three JPEG images here. One picture representing one page of the PDF file. Now let's try the edit PDF. Let's select a PDF file here. You will then be taken here on the PDF editor. From here you can add text. You can select the font face and size, text color, make it bold, italics, underlined or fill its background. You can also doodle or draw within the PDF document. You can add an image and also add shapes. We can add a check for example and resize it. You can zoom in and out or select the pan tool here to drag the page up or down. Let's try to add a smiley face here in the document then save it by clicking edit PDF. Let's then download and open it. There we go. It's the PDF we just updated. Sign PDF can also be done in Acrobat Reader TC. I have created a video about it which I'll pop up in the screen now and you can also find the link from the video description. I will not be going through the other functions here anymore as they are mostly self-explanatory, like adding watermark, rotating the document between landscape and portrait, and password protecting or unlocking the document. Let's do the organized PDF as this is the unusual one. As usual, let's select a PDF file. I'll select the one with the 23 pages. OK. From here you can drag and drop a page to any position that you want. You can rearrange the page by moving them from one position to another. Once you're done, you can just click Organize, download the PDF file, and have a copy of your reorganized PDF file. Related to that, we can also add page numbers to our PDF file. By the way, in many functions here, you can add more PDF files in the deck. All the pages that will have an additional page number will have this red dot indicator, and hovering the mouse to it will show a tool tip indicating the page number. From the right pane, you can select the range of pages that you want to have a page number. Let's say start on 3. There we go, the numbering will start at page 3. We can also set the first page number. It is defaulted into 1, but we can change that to, let's say, 5. Now when I check, page 3 will show page number 5 now. Above, you can also select the page mode, position and margin settings. And just do the usual rest of the steps to get the modified PDF file. OK. Let's do one last demo for scan to PDF. The idea here is to use your phone as a scanner, then transmit the image to the laptop, and then convert it to a PDF file. OK. So I will use my phone to scan the QR code here. Alright. Apparently, this needs to be done in the I Love PDF app, so I need to install it first. OK. It's installed. Let's open the app. Need to provide some access rights to my phone. Now we are automatically taken to the app where camera is open and ready to scan anything. It's the usual scanner app where you can adjust the corners and the app will make it a flat picture. Let's tap finish. It's now transferring the file. There we go. A PDF file is now being created with the picture that we've taken from the phone. A nice wireless connectivity action here. We can now set the orientation, page size and margins of the new PDF file we've created, then save to PDF. We can then download it. Open the file. And there we go. Now, although these tools are free, they still offer some premium functions like the OCR or optical character recognition. To get the premium, just go down the page and click this Get Premium button. You will need to sign in of course. I just used my Google account for this. And you can see the pricing. It is a really cheap tool for only $7 a month or a cheaper $4 a month for a yearly subscription. At the right side, you can see all the perks you can get when you go premium. Alright. That's basically it for this video, and it is obvious that I really like this side and their free tools. You can do anything that you want to do to your PDF files, and everything is free. Who would not want a free tool? Since it can also convert any MS Office documents to PDF, and you can edit a PDF here as well, I love PDF.com basically eliminates the need for other PDF tools. A really helpful site and I highly recommend it. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nobody air.